and welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, today we're on part two of our Christmas cookie uh, cutouts here. So if you've seen the first video and if you haven't, I'll put a uh, link up here in the, in the beginning. But if you remember, we did our Christmas cookies and we did, um, we did our snowman, our Christmas trees, and our stars. So we ended up, you know, baking them, cutting them out, baking them and all that stuff. So today we're going to start with uh, our version of uh, a real simple icing. And this icing, um, you can either pipe it, you can use, um, you know, an offset little offset spatula, things like that. Me personally, I use an offset spatula because it just, it's, it's a little easier to work with than trying to pipe it and trying to, you know, get the line straight and everything. So, but I'll show you how, how they turn out and everything. But to begin with, we have in our bowl here, in our mixing bowl, we have three cups of uh, powdered sugar. And next we're going to add is two tablespoons of our light corn syrup. And this one here, like I say, this one, it'll um, harden up, you know, real nicely on the cookies. You have to give the cookies about, um, about like four hours or so to dry, which is why I'm kind of like doing this right here on the stove top. I'm going to do them all and then lay it all out and everything so um you know so they have a chance to dry and again like i say i'm making these cookies you know for the for the um my nieces and all that and everybody that um likes to have them and everything so the next one is is a half a teaspoon of our vanilla which is let's see right here Go a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and then let me throw this over here real quick. Then our next one, I'm gonna put just a pinch of salt. Again, salt you know brings out the um, brings out the flavor and all that. So I just throw on a little pinch of salt, and now we're gonna start to mix this up slowly. And to this, we're going to add about three tablespoons of water, but I'm going to kind of go slow. I already have it uh, measured out here, but I'm going to pour like a little bit at a time, probably like about a tablespoon or so, and I'm going to mix it all up here. First of all, I just don't want this to get uh, all over me. And second of all, it just starts to get it all incorporated here. And we might need a little bit more than the three. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've done this recipe. But we'll see. I know normally this recipe says uh, four, four tablespoons of water. Because it's going to make a it's gonna make a really kind of a thick icing here. Oh yeah, it's turning out really nice. All right. Get this all mixed together. Now, this icing, if you want to end up uh, piping this icing, because I'm, like I said, I'm used to working with, uh, with, with how I'm used to doing it is, is I'm used to doing it like with this little, uh, little offset spatula like that, because I like the cookies to look uh, kind of like, you know, rustic, not like they were like on a, you know, assembly line kind of deal or whatever. But, you know, if you want to pipe this, you can end up putting... Uh, you know, a little bit more water in here um, to kind of, you know, maybe another tablespoon or so, but don't, you know, go real, like, real heavy with the water because once you get to the point where you put too much water in there, you're, you're not going to be able to, you know, you're not going to be able to uh, thicken it back up. So right now for the way I like it, it's, it's a good consistency. So I'm going to start with the white here and I'm going to start with the snowman. And basically, I just take it and I just kind of spread it on here onto my snowman like this, just covering all the areas like this. And what's nice about this icing is, is that it doesn't like dry right away. It takes, like I say, it takes about um, four hours or so to dry. So what you can do is, is as, as you can see here, um, 
I got the icing on here and everything. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to lay them all out onto my paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this uh, coarse sugar here that I've got in a little container like this. And this is that, you know, that like flaky kind of sugar. And then I'm just going to sprinkle it like we used to do when we were kids. Like I say, a lot of this is like memories of like when I was a kid growing up and my mom would do this. But we're going to, you know, just sprinkle them and then just let it dry. And that's kind of like what we'll do with the snowmen. So what I'll do is, is I'll get all the snowmen done with the white. Then I'll come back and I'll show you the next one, um, the green one for the Christmas tree. Then after that, we'll do kind of a mixed color for the uh, uh, star. So let me get the snowmen done and I'll be right back. And we are back. Okay, so I got all the snowmen done and I'm gonna end up um, putting the sprinkles on them in a little bit, but I wanted to go on to the next one. Um, so now this recipe here, this three pounds of uh, icing, we'll do about 24 cookies. Um, give or take it all depends on like how thick you put it on the cookie But you know like I say if you you know if you like that that real, you know thickness kind of stuff Then by you know all means put it on real thick um, You like it thinner spread it out, you know, it'll still work So what we're gonna do now is We're gonna go on to our next cookie and we're gonna do our Christmas tree one here and Since we've already got it all mixed. I already took some out for the star. So this is what we have left so what I'm going to do is, is I went to our baking um, baking shop and I ended up getting some uh, of these little uh, airbrush uh, coloring kit one. So what we have here is we got like a pine green. So I'm going to put a couple drops in. And let's get it mixed in here. And let's see what this looks like here. Now this one here, um, we're gonna end up using the um, the red and the green sugar on this one, just because it'll look like you know like little uh, Christmas lights on there. So that's about the color. I, uh, you can see that. That's about the you know the color green I'd like it to be. Um, you know again, you can add more. You can take out. You can you know bless. All depends on how you want to do it. So then we'll grab our Christmas tree ones here. And again, I'm just using this little offset spatula. And I put it on, you know, put it on enough to, to really kind of coat it. As I can remember a lot of times growing up as a kid, we would do this with my mom at the kitchen table for the holiday. And we would just use um, like a knife or whatever and just, you know, end up flooding the cookie like this and everything. But then you want, you know, got the green colored one like this. And then what I'm going to use, so let me wipe my fingers here real quick. Again, I'm going to use the coarse um, sugar, but this is like I say, this is like a, a red and green mix kind of sugar. So let me get this open here without spilling it. <laughs> and we're going to sprinkle a little bit of this onto our Christmas tree. And then I'll show everybody what that kind of looks like. You see, you got the red and green on there and everything. So let me, uh, let me get the Christmas tree ones all sprinkled. And then we'll move on to our stars. And then at the end, I'll kind of just uh, bring you all in and show you, you know, what they all look like. Or I'll maybe take a picture or whatever, but I'll show you at the end what they all look like decorated and everything. So, be right back and we'll move on to the stars. Alright, so now we got our Christmas trees all done. And now our final one that uh, we're going to do is we're going to do these um, star cutout ones that we did. Now, the star ones... Um, it's kind of hard to say, you know, like what color, you know, and everything, but I kind of like, like, like a light blue, um, you know, like kind of light blue gold, whatever. 
So I got some yellow sanding sugar, and again, went to the um, uh, baking store, got a sky blue as they call it. But this one I just want very light. So the, the, the green one there that I used, um, I ended up uh, putting like about two drops in there, you know, to color the, the, um, the, uh, the icing. With this one here, I'm only going to use one uh, drop because I don't want it to be too blue, but I just want it to be, you know, like, like I say, like a Christmas kind of blue. So I think kind of like something like that, um, you know, a, a lighter blue kind of color. And then again, like I say, what we'll do is, is we'll end up putting, you know, a nice, nice uh, coating on here. And then we'll just spread it around. And right now I don't have the gold on me, so I'm just gonna frost these ones, kind of make them look really nice. But there's what that looks like, all frosted and everything. And like I say, as this dries too, it'll level out and it, it'll look a lot better and everything. But that's the blue that I'm gonna use for the star. So again, um, that's the Christmas cookie cutouts. Uh, coming up for the rest of this week, we still, before we hit, you know, the holidays and all that, we still got our pecan pie we're going to make, and we're going to also be making our Hershey uh, Hershey uh, Kiss uh, cookie, peanut butter cookies. So if you're new to this channel, and again, I saw that, you know, there was at least two or three new subscribers, so welcome to the channel. But, you know, if you're new to this channel, please, you know, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps the video out, it helps the channel out. And until we do our pie, I'll see you guys next time right here in the kitchen. Uh, from me, Maya, from the Walski Group, take care, everyone, and have a great one. We'll see you then.